What is it like to make the UFC debut, all the adrenaline rush, that kind of stuff? What's it like for you to watch it? I hate watching him. I mean, even from like uh, his Taekwondo days, it's always like my brotherly instincts is to protect my younger brother. Now he's out there doing his own thing. I mean, we got the win, but I think we pressured ourselves to perform and finish fights. So he was a little disappointed he didn't get the finish, but uh, we got the win. So that's, we're very happy about it. Do you like how we fought tonight? I think he can fight better. I mean, I sparred him. I spar him all the time. He probably gives me the hardest rounds out of everybody. So I know he has a lot more potential. Now it has to match the uh, the nerves. Have to match the skill. That's the biggest part about it. It's the mental game is what makes champions. I mean, there's guys that are so good out there, but they just can't mentally put it together. And that's what I, we're gonna work on. I think I'd rather have him have uh, you know 15 minutes of experience rather than you know two minute knockout. So I think it was very good what, he, what happened today. And what did you tell him before he walked out? Obviously, we know this is his first time in the octagon. Mm -hmm. Jitters are real. I told him uh, it's not about it's not about our dad. It's not about Anthony Pettis today. It's Sergio Pettis. That you, you start your journey. You start your destiny, and, and, and just take advantage of it. Fall in love with the atmosphere. The the, the feeling of walking out. The feeling of the octagon. And don't make it a job. Just make it, just make, make this fun. And it's gonna it's gonna always happen. We talked to him a little bit about it. He spent a lot of time attacking off his back. Uh, were you at all worried about uh, how the judges might see that? Yeah, uh, for sure. After the Clay Guido fight, you know, I'm always worried about that. So uh, I think he got caught up. Uh, the, the opponent change didn't help. We were getting ready for a southpaw fight, uh, more of a, a standing match. Uh, even Will, I thought Will would just come and stand and bang with him. But, uh, I mean, you always got to be able to adapt. So uh, a little, little, a little afraid when the decision, especially when I heard 30-27. I'm like, oh, 30-27, 30-27. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, we got the win. He, he's going to learn from this, and I'm excited about that. Certainly we need to ask about you and your health. What's the yeah. situation, and how long uh, do you think that you'll be out? Honestly, I don't have a clear answer. I've seen a couple doctors. Um, they're all saying maybe surgery, maybe not surgery. I tore my PCL. Actually, I tore it in the Henderson fight, gave it eight weeks off. The first time I came back to train for the Thompson fight, kicked again in the same spot, a full tear this time. So uh, it's either surgery. I'll find out Monday. I'm going to L.A. again to find out if I need surgery. If it's surgery, six to seven months. If it's no surgery, six to seven weeks. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping for the best. Well, take the time, though. I mean, Definitely. as much as it stinks to not have you fighting, we want you healthy and not yeah. just back for the sake yeah. of being back. I mean, I'm only 26 years old. I have a long time. I just don't want to waste my, my prime injured. Anthony, what about uh, last night or mm -hmm. the night before, a little run-in with Nick Diaz at the club? Yeah, can it was. Kind of, can you kind of highlight yeah, that? Yeah, I, uh, I think Twitter made it bigger than it really was. Uh, one of Nick Diaz's friends, I was taking a picture with a fan, had something to say. My family don't play, their family don't play, drinks got thrown, security came. Me and Nick Diaz never had a confrontation you know, together, but I think Twitter blew it up a little more than it was. That's normal for me you know, in Milwaukee, it's nothing big. Last one, guys. Thoughts, thoughts on some of these guys uh, taking shots at you from, from a distance now that you're champ? Does that just come with the territory? It does come with the territory, but I am a champ, but I'm a human being, man. So, I mean, you, you talk stuff, I'm going to respond back. I mean, I'm not that guy that's going to sit back and say, hey, you guys, I'll figure out who's going to fight me next. If, I mean, if you're talking you're talking trash, let's, let's set it up. But get some wins first. Do you want Josh Thompson to wait, or do you want him to fight TJ Grant? Uh, well, let's have him. Let's have him uh, you know what? That's, that's hard to say, because I feel TJ deserves a title shot. So, I mean, if we make him wait so long, I was in that same position. So uh, it's up to the UFC what they feel is right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys.